So if you're a content creator or a live streamer who's looking to use their live streams to also be used as clips or even standalone YouTube videos to grow your brand, you're probably looking at two softwares on the market and you're looking to decide between which one is going to be the best fit for you. And these two options are Riverside and StreamYard. In this video, I'm going to be comparing the two softwares next to each other in different categories, such as user interface, live streaming quality, and additional helpful features as well to make your job easier and hopefully by the end of this video you will have a lot more information to make your decision. So without any fluff let's get right into it. The first category is audio and visual quality. Both of these platforms allow you to stream up to full HD quality, so 1080p. So in terms of streaming quality, they are pretty comparable. And they also both allow you to locally record your streams as well. Riverside can actually do it up to 4K quality. In terms of simultaneous streaming, you can do multi-platform on Riverside and multi-stream on StreamYard as well. Now, when it comes to audio quality, there is quite a big difference there. StreamYard only allows for 44.1 kilohertz audio quality, whereas Riverside does 48 kilohertz with AI enhancement as well built in. So you can make sure that the audio is as crisp as humanly possible. Now, when it comes to doing screen shares in your streams, you can do them on both of these platforms, but Riverside also has some amazing multi-screen layouts built in, so it allows for more flexibility. Now, when it comes to branding your streams and using lower thirds, for example, both of them allow you to customize them, but the branding and customization features on StreamYard are quite basic whereas on Riverside they are completely customizable and even brand kits are available. Now for the recording features on StreamYard it's local only so it only downloads it to your actual computer whereas on Riverside you get both local and cloud uploading as well and also multi-track so you can get each one of the tracks separately downloaded or uploaded into the cloud so that gives you a lot more flexibility in post-production. Both of the platforms offer live monitoring and in terms of the user interface StreamYard is a bit more on the basic but easy to use side and Riverside is also pretty simple to use but it's more of a pro friendly platform. You have much more customization options. Now, when it comes to having guests on your live stream, both of them allow for up to 10 users, but with Riverside, you also get scheduling and studio prep as well. In terms of the audience limits on StreamYard, you get up to 10,000, whereas on Riverside, you get only up to 1,000 audience limit. Now let's talk about some features that Riverside has that StreamYard doesn't actually have. So first of all, text-based editing. You can actually edit all of your live streams within Riverside just using text-based editing and you don't have anything like that in StreamYard. You also have multi-track editing in Riverside so you can edit the separate tracks one by one and you also don't have access to that within StreamYard. Riverside offers AI voices as well so you can actually do text-to-speech using your own voice within Riverside whereas StreamYard doesn't have that feature. Another thing that I really love about about Riverside is their Magic Clips feature. So they actually have an AI built in which can find you some of the best and most engaging moments from your live streams and it creates automatic highlights from this. This is something StreamYard also doesn't have. And last but not least, automatic audio cleanup. So StreamYard doesn't have anything like this but in Riverside you actually have this feature where it can remove the silences and the filler words automatically from your entire stream. So if you want to use, for example, a segment of your live stream for a YouTube video where the average attention span is much lower and you need to keep the viewers engagement throughout the entire video. This is super helpful for that and you don't necessarily need to hire an editor or a clipper to cut out all the silences and the boring parts. You can do it with just a click of a button. So while both of these platforms are good in my opinion and for different people maybe one or the other might work better, in my opinion if you're trying to take this really seriously and some of these more advanced features are important to you, then Riverside can be a great option. You get in general higher quality local recordings, which is perfect for redistribution across multiple social media channels. You also get AI assisted editing and you can create highlights automatically. So basically just as soon as you finish your live stream, you can quickly, thanks to the help of AI, turn that into clips and distribute them across your other accounts. And overall it offers more of a professional all-in-one workflow, whereas 
whereas StreamYard is more so just focused on streaming. So here's kind of how the entire content creation process works with Riverside. You do the recording and the streaming, which is the same process as StreamYard, but you get higher quality recordings. Then you can do the editing through text-based editing and AI enhancements. After that, you can create endless assets from your stream using Co-Creator, which is Riverside's built-in AI, where basically within just a simple conversational chat box, you can create as many short form clips, highlight YouTube clips, or even photo or text-based assets as you want. And then you just go ahead and publish, you have multi-platform ready content, not just local recordings. So look, in my opinion, StreamYard is totally fine if you just want to live stream and then call it a day. But if you're looking for a bit more than that and you want to save some serious time in the process that comes after you finish the live stream, then Riverside is a great option on the market. So if you want to try it out, I'm going to leave a link in the description down below where you can get an entire month for free if you sign up with that link. And otherwise, I hope you enjoy this video. If you want to see more content like this, make sure to subscribe to the channel and I will see you guys in the next one.